Good afternoon. Buck and I are back again to encourage you in your faith, to let you know that God is still on the throne, that Jesus loves you, and we do too. Amen. <laughs> Pastor Nikki. Yes, Pastor Buck. It is good to be here at Glad Tidings of Jacksonville, 6131 Terry Road, and we welcome you to join in for a few moments of just uh, worshiping the Lord and, yes. and just honoring God. You know, the Bible says that we are to give God our first fruits. Mm -hmm. So have you given God your first fruit today? Our first fruit means our time also. So uh, we're going to get Pastor Nikki to open up with prayer, and then we're going to worship the Lord for a few moments. Our precious Heavenly Father, how we praise you and thank you for this day. This is your day. It's a day of salvation. For all those who are listening, might you recall and remember the first day that you understood that Jesus had died for your sins and that he had paved the way for forgiveness and eternal life. We thank you, Father, for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for setting us free from our old sinful nature. Thank you for giving us a new nature. And Father, during this time of plague, disease, the COVID-19 virus, we know that you're still on the throne and that you're using this for your good purpose you're taking something that seems so evil and, and uh, just such a trial, such a worry, and you are using it to draw us to yourself, to know that we're safe in your arms. We love you, Father, in Jesus' precious name. And everybody said,
I'll be there for you. Amen. By His amazing grace, I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. And that amazing grace, how sweet to say, and it saved the wretch like me, and He'll save you also. Amen.
either a slave to sin or we can be set free only by the Son of God, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said you can't serve two masters. We're living in a world where a lot of Christians are trying to have the best of both worlds. I want to say to you today, living in sin is not even a part of a good thing. Sin is the reason we have sickness and disease and death and, and all of these ungodly things that's going on in our world today. All of the terrible things that's happening, the people that are doing it is not, has not been set free by Jesus. They are still a slave to sin. Jesus wants you to know today that he can set you free. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Now, a lot of people misinterpret the Word of God. There's a lot of false teachers, and there's a lot of people that in ignorance will try to be a preacher or a pastor or a teacher. But you know, we should not be ignorant of God's Word. Jesus said, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Did he say he would set you free from your troubles? No. He does not set us free from it. He sets us free in it. I like the, up in the Blue Ridge Mountains of West Virginia, we have a home up there, and we have a little plaque in the hallway, so every time I go to bed or I go backwards and forwards, I see that plaque. And that plaque says, sometimes God calms the storm. Well, we know we're in a big storm, don't we? But it says, sometimes He calms us in the storm. So, if you want to be set free with all the things and the trials and the temptation. The Lord says he's not going to set you free from that. He's going to set you free in that. In other words, it can't touch you because Jesus Christ is our Savior and our Lord. Now, I want to tell you today in closing, God loves us. God loves us. And the Bible says that whom he loves, he disciplines. Now we know that a lot of our problems in the country today is because there's been no discipline in our children bringing them up. I'm not saying everybody is guilty, but I'm saying you look around and you see that there's no respect for the things of God anymore. There's no fear of God. And the Lord wants us to come back. It's time to come back home. We're like the prodigal son. We went out here and tried to live a Christian life and do what we wanted to in the world. It ain't going to work. It's time to come home and let the Father once more kill the fatty calf. Put a robe on us. Put a ring on our finger. And make us joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Won't you come today? Won't you come today? Listen, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose by trusting in Jesus? By believing have we not tried just about everything else? And it don't work, does it? I tried it all. I tried it all. And I can say, the day that I invited Jesus Christ into my life, repented of my sins, and I was born again in the Spirit of God, was the best day of the rest of my life.
for eternity. Now you may have a drug addiction. You may be living in immorality. You may just be doing your best but never seem to be able to rise above. Today is your day. Today is your day. And just pray with me this prayer. Lord, I've tried it all. I can't find no peace anywhere. I live in fear. I can't sleep good at night. Sometimes I wake up Lord, and I just feel like life is not worth the living. But today, I feel you tugging at my heartstrings. And so I'm going to ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe that you, Jesus, the Son of God, Jesus of Nazareth, that, that Jesus that walked on the water, that healed the sick, raised the dead, that rose from the dead and is coming back, can forgive me of my sins and give me a new birth. I believe it and I receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Now, if you prayed that prayer with me, you took the first step, God will take the rest of it. Because you will be a new person, a new creation in Christ. And those chains that had you wrapped up and bound up, those chains are falling off right now. And you're being set free. And no matter what temptation comes upon you, Jesus said, I've set you free in that. You may have to deal with the temptation, but you don't have to give in to it. No. Right now, in closing, we're going to get Pastor Nicky to sing this beautiful song in closing. Would you sing it for us? My chains are gone.
They're just willing to serve you and to show forth your kingdom in all that they do, say, and even think. Father, fill us to overflowing with your spirit that we might glorify you. Have your way, Father. We pray for the lost throughout the world that they would be drawn to you and be saved eternally. That's all that matters, Father. We thank you that our chains have been broken. We're free from our sinful nature through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, that we look forward to your coming again for us. Come quickly, Lord. Amen.